What's up YouTubers, Hardworker12 with you here with a Subaru Crosstrek and a Subaru Forester. Which is right for you? Now aside from Forester and Outback, this is the most common cross shop that I get within the Subaru brand. Uh, Forester and Outback are pretty close in size. I think with Forester and Crosstrek, you can see there is kind of a bigger difference here. The Forester is the white car, the Crosstrek is the powdery blue cool gray khaki car. So the measurements, Crosstrek is 176 inches long versus 182 inches for Forester. Crosstrek is 71 inches wide versus 72 inches wide for Forester. And the Crosstrek is 64 inches tall versus 68 inches tall for Forester. So the Forester is the larger car. There's also a few amenities that are available on Forester that you can't get on Crosstrek at any level. Uh, for example, the Forester can give you rear air vents on all of them except for a premium. The Forester can also provide you if you go all the way up to the touring with heated rear seats, memory seats, driver monitoring, power passenger seat. These are things that no Crosstrek can give you. But what I find with clients is that it doesn't really come down to amenities or size with these cars. It comes down to how they look. And people really seem to love the look of the little Crosstrek. And beauty is most certainly in the eye of the beholder. I will say that I don't really get it because to me the Crosstrek is just an Impreza on a raised heavy duty suspension with a little bit different bumpers and black body cladding. That's literally all it is. But a lot of people really love the way this car looks and they really love this particular color, which is cool gray khaki. I will leave that up to you if that's something that's so important to you. Here's a little look at the Forester. This happens to be a sport model. So you've got the orange trim, you've got the black wheels. You can get this in other packages. But anyway, what it breaks down to, I find, is that people really want the dang Crosstrek, but it's a little too small for them. So is it too small for you? Well, I've already done full reviews on both of these cars with cargo measurements, passenger room, all that stuff. So I'm gonna do something a little different today. I'm gonna do the industry standard Costco toilet paper test. So here is the cargo area of the Crosstrek. There is a standard package of Costco toilet paper. And that is how much room remains. Is that enough for you? Make your decision. So here is the cargo area of the Forester with that same Costco toilet paper. So you can see the difference in room there. The Forester does give you more cargo room. Okay, so here's the back seat of the Crosstrek with both seats pushed all the way back. And as you can see, I can barely wedge my Costco toilet paper into the back seat. So here's the back seat of the Forester with the seats pushed all the way back. And my Costco toilet paper has a little more room in this one. More headroom for sure. And here's the front seat of the Crosstrek with the seats still pushed all the way back. And I can barely wedge my Costco toilet paper in the footwell of the front seat on the passenger side. And the front seat room, leg-wise is probably about the same, maybe a little more for Forrester, but it's slightly wider and you definitely have more headroom in it. So overall, the Forrester is a roomier vehicle than the Crosstrek. One other difference to note is the engine. Currently, all Foresters, at least in the U.S. market, come standard with the 2.5-liter Boxer four-cylinder with 182 horsepower for the 2020 model year. And the Crosstrek comes standard with the 2-liter 152 horsepower Boxer engine for the 2020 model year, save for the handful of hybrids that Subaru 
imports only to certain states and in very limited numbers, so I'm not really gonna go over that here. Um, 2021 model, this is gonna change the 2.5 liter. Apparently it's gonna be standard on a couple of the higher end uh, cross track trims, a limited and a new sport trim that's coming out. So we look forward to that. Uh, however, those are gonna be the more expensive ones. You'll probably still be able to get a base model Forester with the same engine, 2.5 liters, for less money than a sport or limited cross track. So that's something to consider. But look how gorgeous this thing is. Oh my God. It even says Subaru on the headlight. That is so cool. It just looks so sporty. So out of these two cars, which do I personally prefer? The Forester, once again. Uh, even though it's a little bit more expensive, I think it is a better value than Crosstrek because you're getting a larger car with a larger engine, at least for now. And it's more practical and um, beauty's in the eye of the beholder. And I don't necessarily love how the Crosstrek looks. I think it looks fine, but I don't share the same affinity that many people do for the look of that car. No knock on anybody who is in love with it. It's just not my cup of tea. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and have yourself a wonderful day. Bye-bye.